and we're going to go to Chuck right now. Well, we are. We understand that Alex Rodriguez is about to hold news conference right now. This will be Alex Rodriguez live. Why don't we take the picture? Let's see. Uh, he's about to answer questions, I believe. Yeah, first of all, um, you know, thank you for being here today. I know uh, I wish it was under sh different circumstances, but um, I just want to express to you guys and, and, and the fans of baseball that um, the last seven months has been uh, a nightmare. It's been, you know, probably the worst time of my life, for sure. Um, Obviously, for the circumstances that uh, that are at hand, and also dealing with a very um, tough surgery in a rehab program, and being 38, um, I am thrilled and humbled to have the opportunity to put on this uniform again and to play Major League Baseball again. And um, I feel like, like I was 18 years old back in Fenway Park in 1994 when I went in to uh, face the Red Sox for the very first time. And um, it's been 20 years. And um, just very excited to, to have the opportunity to go out there and play baseball and help my team win. win. And prove to myself, my teammates, the fans of New York, the fans of baseball, that I have to still have a shot to um, to play the game at a high level, and I'm gonna give them my best. There, there was a lot, um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into any of that today. I think, um, uh, obviously disappointing with the news today, no question about it. Um, but what we've always fought for is uh, for the process, and I think uh, we have that. And at some point we'll sit in front of an arbiter and uh, give it our, give our pace. And that's as much as I feel comfortable telling you right now. that MLB imposed, but you didn't deny the charges. Do you deny that you used PEDs? Like I said, I think uh, we'll have a forum to discuss all of that, um, and we'll talk about it then. Alex, do you, do you feel that uh, this is a witch hunt by Major League Baseball? A what? A witch hunt. I don't want to discuss that. I don't know what the motivation is for, for any of this, um, but I'm going to respect the process. Um, uh, I feel good that we have an opportunity to do that in, in the right platform. Um, uh, and we're going to follow the, the BA and uh, state our case. Alex, what uh, are the likelihoods that during the process of the appeal, and you see the evidence that Major League Baseball may have against you that you would drop that appeal and go on as life goes on. I'm sorry, you got to repeat that first part of that question? Uh, the chance during the appeal, you see the evidence that Major League Baseball has against you. They have to show you that. Is it likely that you would back away from the appeal and go on and take the punishment? If I'm understanding your question properly, um, we've seen everything. Um, and uh, again, there'll be a time and a place for all of that. And uh, when the time is right, we'll, we'll all speak more freely. Alex, have you, if the appeal process does not go your way, 
Have you come to terms at all with the idea that your baseball career could possibly be over? Say that first part again. The appeal process does not go your way. Have you come to terms yet personally with the idea that your baseball career could possibly be over? You know, I got to tell you, um, I haven't thought that far ahead, but I, I am so excited to have an opportunity to wear this uniform and um, help this team team win. I mean, there, there's a lot of baseball to be played for us this year. And I hope that for one moment uh, with this appeal process, we, we have an opportunity to talk about the greatest game in the world, uh, to take a, a little bit of a time out from this and, uh, and give the fans of baseball an opportunity to focus on all the great stories that are happening in baseball right now. Uh, above all, I'm, I'm a huge baseball fan, and I hope that we can put the light on, uh, on a lot of this. So hopefully today we can take a time out, take a deep breath, and focus on all these great baseball stories. You mentioned there were a couple of different parties that were trying to keep you off the field. You didn't specify, but the perception was that it was the Yankees were one of them. I was wondering if you coming back now with being among the team, the general manager here is now, do you have to talk to Brian Cashman at all coming back or talk to anybody to clear the air or try to clarify what you would say? Anybody team? Well, I spoke with uh, Cash last night, I mean yesterday afternoon, and uh, we just talked about playing third base today, being back. He welcomed me back. And for me, he's going to be business as usual. I got a job to do. Uh, we have, I have 24 teammates in there. We have a mission to you know, enter the postseason. Obviously, we have challenges ahead of us, but I think. Uh, what can I do to help this team team win? I'm trying to talk to all my teammates, understand what's been happening here the last three or four months, kind of get in the groove as quick as I can, and, and help lead this team, help lead this offensive team to where we need to go. And, uh, two quick ones. First of all, based on your uh, conversations with your attorneys when the union, do you expect to play through the season just based on the timing of the appeals process? Can I, haven't, I haven't gotten any indication of the timing of anything. Uh, I'm so focused on tonight, and. Uh, you know, it's been a long time for me, and the last time I was on the field, uh, it wasn't pretty. It was uh, against Detroit in the playoffs and against Baltimore, and I was horrific. Um, so I have an opportunity now to come in and, you know, hit in the middle of the lineup, hopefully get some big hits, and, you know, help this team, uh, you know, enter the playoffs. Michael, you said today, uh, referring to your comments Friday night, Trent, he said they were, he thought they were counterproductive. And you thought uh, Alex probably isn't that happy with those comments. I'm wondering if you uh, who wasn't that happy. No, Michael Weiner was saying that perhaps you were not happy. And you know, looking back with those comments, wondering if how you feel about them a, a few days later. I said what I said. Uh, that's that's Friday night. Today is uh, another day, and I'm focused on you know what what my job is and my responsibilities to the New York Yankees and, and the fan base of New York. I do want to thank all the fans uh, and and some of the media people that are here today and, and, and my Dominican people and, uh, and all the Hispanics all over the, the world. I mean, the support I've gotten has been incredible. It's been the toughest fight of my life. Uh, by, by any means, uh, am I out of the woods? Uh, this is probably just phase two just starting. Uh, it's not going to get easier. It's probably going to get harder. Um, but, but I am humbled and I'm thankful for, for the support. Now, one thing I don't quite understand, you said there's a time and a place to talk about stuff. If you did, uh, you Alex Rodriguez, who just got hit with a 211 game suspension on Major League Baseball for using performance enhancing drugs, the toughest penalty of any of the players, I think the 13, who are issued penalties today and suspended. Uh, Bruce Beck is standing by right now, and Bruce Alex at the beginning of this news conference described this as being the, the, the worst nightmare of his life, worst time of his life. Uh, he seemed wistful and emotional.